Welcome to Edgenuity, where learning clicks. Once you've logged in, you'll see a tile for each course or program you currently have active. Each tile will give you some information about your progress and achievements so far. If you're on track, your progress will appear in blue. If you're ahead, you'll see your progress in green. But if you see your progress shown in red, it means you've fallen behind. You'll need to put in some extra time to get caught up. On some tiles, you can also view your course grade. Notice that this student has an overall grade of 95% in foundational math. That means they're currently earning an A on the work they've completed so far. Great job! It's almost time to get started in your online course. Remember to keep these tips for success in mind. First, take notes on what you're learning. You might use eNotes and you might use a pen and paper, but rephrasing what you learn in your own words helps you pay attention and remember what you've learned. Second, stay on pace. Make sure your progress bar is in the blue or even in the green. If you fall too far behind, it gets hard to catch up later. Ask for help when you need it. If you don't understand something, tell your teacher. He or she can explain it in a different way and point you toward other online resources. You are responsible for your own success, but you don't have to do it alone. And finally, avoid plagiarism. It's never okay to copy and paste other people's work and submit it as your own. Even if you find text online and you don't know who the author is, you do know that the author isn't you. You can't pass someone else's work off as your own. So always cite your sources or rephrase ideas in your own words. Now we're ready to jump into a lesson. To get started, you can click Next Activity, or you can click anywhere else on the tile to go to the course map. Click a tile to go to the course map now. This is your course map. From here, you can view the entire structure of your course. If your teacher has set a target date for you, you can check the due dates in your course map to see exactly what you need to do each day to stay on track. As long as you complete all your assignments for the day, you'll stay on pace. You can also view your e-notes here. As you work through the course, you may see alerts appear. For example, if you fall behind, you'll see a message telling you how much work you need to do to catch up. If you have feedback from a teacher, you'll see an alert like this. And if you forget to submit an activity for your teacher to grade, you'll see a reminder like this. Don't forget to submit your work once you finish it. A few other helpful things to notice. Want to switch courses? You can navigate among your active courses right here or go back to the home page. Need help using Edgenuity? Visit the Help Center, where you'll find videos, resources you can download, and frequently asked questions. On the course map, most activities will show up as grayed out and locked unless your teacher has allowed you to move freely throughout the course. To work on any activity that's unlocked, click the activity title. This activity is a warm-up or introduction. Let's take a look. This activity starts with a video. You can pause and rewind the video at any time using the video controls here. If you've already watched the video the whole way through once, you can fast forward to the part you want to see again. However, you can't fast forward through any video segment you haven't watched yet. You do need to watch every video once all the way through. You can control the volume here. And you can turn captions on here. It's important to know that most of the important information you'll be tested on will be taught here in the videos. So pay attention and take good notes. You'll find your e-notes or digital notebook here. You can take notes at any time. Pause the video if you want to, or if you're a fast typist, you can take notes while the teacher is talking. Once you add a note to your notebook, you can go back and edit it if you need to. Just click the note and it'll appear in the eNotes text box. Edit your note and click Save. Now you may find that you want to add more to your notes. In advanced mode, you can use formatting tools like tables, an equation editor, a symbol palette, and bulleted lists. We find that students who take notes tend to do better on quizzes and tests. 
Taking the time to write down the important ideas in your own words will help you process and remember what you learn. So use your eNotes. Another helpful tool is the glossary, found on this second tab. All the vocabulary words for the lesson will appear here, but you can also look up any word you want. To go back to the lesson word list, just close the word lookup window. The third tab contains a transcript of the current activity. You can view this transcript in English, or you can translate it into any supported language, as long as you have the translation enabled. Just open the transcript and select your language here. Sometimes the video will pause, and you'll be asked to complete a task. On any task, you can use the tools in your toolbar. In math and science courses, you can use the built-in calculators to solve problems. Depending on the course, you might have access to a standard calculator, a graphing calculator, or other specialized calculators. In any course, you can highlight text. This can help you pay attention as you read, especially when you're asked to read extended articles and stories. If you have Read Aloud enabled, you can hear text read aloud. Just highlight what you want to hear and press the Read Aloud button. The runner traveled. If you have translation enabled, you can change the languages of most on-screen text here. Some of these languages also work with the Read Aloud tool, so try it out. Il grafico mostra la distanza. Now when you want to leave an activity, just click the home button in the upper left corner of your screen. Don't worry, we'll always save your work. When you come back to the activity, you'll be able to pick up where you left off. Now it's time to get started in your online course.